to detect foreign objects. Count the number of compartments. That's four compartments. Should be three now. Three compartments. And two now. Dispensing three pills with only two compartments. Shouldn't work, right? Shouldn't work. Kali, press and hold to dispense. Error, require three compartments. Dispensing three medicines with two compartments. This time, we load from this end. On the control panel, where do you switch it? To switch to this end, this end, you have to switch up the switch here. Which says load from user recycled, right? Because you want to recycle. Yes. And so. here has patient load from here. Okay. Okay. So go to Kali. Mm -hmm. And then press and hold. Go to the button. Functions of the control panel, the control box. This SPDT is to switch between manual counting of compartments and auto dispensing, which is below. This SPDT is to switch between load from this end, this end, and load from the other end, which is this end. Okay. This push button is a trigger. It's a multi-purpose trigger. You can trigger the counting of compartments, you can trigger the selection of the patient, and you can trigger the dispensing of the patient, depending on whether you press or hold or you just press. Okay. This red color LED blinks when the subsystem is counting the number of compartments. This blue color LED lights up constantly when the conveyor motor is conveying the pill container. It blinks when it's, it has stopped and it's waiting for a dispenser to dispense. This white LED lights up constantly for a few seconds after the dispense, uh, the dispensing has been completed. After LED lights. Okay. Right, it's blinking right now. The red color is blinking because it's counting the number of compartments. The blue color light is blinking right now because it's waiting for the pills to be dispensed. So it's blinking. And finally, when it has been dispensed, the white color light will go on for a few seconds until uh, enough time has elapsed and then you go to standby mode and you turn off. Before the patient comes to the pill dispenser, it will say please load pill container. So we have three medications. We will use a three compartment, uh, three compartment pill container. And here we will say standby mode. how the medication prescription works. When the patient comes and taps his, uh, his patient uh, card, 
the name appears and his details is updated on the medication prescription system on the computer and the patient's name is Kali Mutu and we'll confirm the patient ID by clicking yes and now the doctor is going to prescribe uh, medication assuming we uh, prescribe one Panadol and click send prescription you'll give an error message saying that uh, you have entered an invalid prescription simply because there's no before or after meal clicked either one must be clicked so now we will click before meal and send prescription to pharmacy we will ask to confirm once we press yes the, the information will be sent over to the pharmacy for dispensing so it's one Panadol only right? yeah All right. thank you for sending me the prescription you go over to dispense so because it's only one Panadol we can use uh, two compartments The patient's name is Kali, so let's scroll to Kali and we can just press and hold to dispense. You will first count the number of compartments, which is two compartments, then you will dispense one pill. So we have one Panadol for Kali. Okay, next for patient account. So this is patient account. Okay, I'll hold the dispense. Patient account only requires one Panadol, sorry, two Panadol and one antibiotic. So you'll skip the middle, right? Yep. Again, the motor will turn the bottle cap to, and it will, actually the LCD will also show the number of pills dispensing from each bottle. So one bottle, and there you have it. We have two from two Panadol and one antibiotic. That's all. Thank you.